Okay, let me show you guys some more examples. Mm. Bird. Bird. See? Black, if it's dark sur surface, you use white to create the patterns. If it's like um, light surface, surface, you just use black to create patterns. It's really good. Penguin, it's a cute penguin. It's different patterns on the penguin's sweater, right? And around it, if you are going to draw a penguin, you have to create something for the penguin, just around it, okay? You can add, you can add, let me see. Let me just use this penguin pictures. Okay, this one. So, for example, I done with drawing and patterns, all the patterns with the penguin. Then I like it to be black like symbol color, black and white lines and patterns. And right now I'm gonna create some background for the penguin. Uh, think about where the penguin is. Maybe, so penguin is some cold place. Maybe the penguin standing on ice cube. Okay, and Still empty around here. Another ice cube. So under the ice cube, some waters. Okay, these are waters. You can even draw some fishes. Draw some fishes. Okay, fishes. And what about behind the penguin and the eyes? Should be land. So where the, so should be land. So maybe you can just draw a house for the penguin. And put some doors too. So this is a house for the penguins. So penguins, they used to, I mean, not used to, they, they live together as a group. So you're gonna do more houses. And maybe we can, we can do another penguin here. Another penguin here, right? And another penguin here. Oh, no. Better just don't draw on this penguin's head. Maybe here. Just think about where are they, I mean, what are they doing? You can even put a flag on, on the house, right? So another way you can do it. Yeah, now this is more interesting now. Maybe another house here. Mm. 
what do we have on Iceland? Okay, okay, I'll stop here. So after you done drawing all those backgrounds, and next thing is, so you use pencil to draw first, right? Next thing is, you use black Sharpie to trace. I'm gonna get that darker. So you trace with the black Sharpie. Trace your pencil lines with black Sharpie. Okay, all of them, okay? Then you color it with color pencil. So for this one, I'm going only going to use blue. So for the ice cube, I'm only gonna use, for blue, I mean different shades of blue. So I'll draw it right here. So light, starting from light blue, dark, darker blue, even more darker. Okay, so maybe, okay, so five different shades of blue to create this one, okay, to color this one. So for sure the ice cube is gonna be, you can leave the ice cube white, I don't mind, okay? Or very, very light blue, the lightest blue or white. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. So you can draw different object for your homework. You can draw different object. Um, for little kids, you can choose from, you can choose from a bird, bird, you can choose from bird, you can draw bird or a bear, even though just like this, you know, just half body of the bear. A bird, a bear, or a penguin. So I think penguin is a bird too. Penguin or a person, okay, a person, a person, something like this, a person, okay, person or a penguin or a bear or a bird, okay. So for your homework, make sure, just make sure you uh, use pencil to draw it uh, draw your work first, draw it first, then use black sharpie to trace it. So, so this one, look at this one. This one is not finished. I just want to show you guys. Use pencil to draw first, then use black sharpie to trace everything you draw. Okay, trace everything you do. Then color it with Color it. You can use markers, but you, if you don't have marker right now, like this marker, if you don't have them at right now, you can use color pencil, pencil crayon, or yeah, think color pencil if you have. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's my class. If you finish your work, please post in the. Uh, homework we check group and I'll try my best to show you how to make your art more pretty like prettier and more complicated complete sorry okay bye